It's time for the Giz Whiz with Mads Maddest Rider, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1706, recorded Thursday, December 20th, 2018. Crapasaurus. This episode of the Gizwiz, we have three gadgets as seen on TV, which you can get from just about any drugstore. Uh, so if you're last minute Christmas shopping, we got some ideas for you. Another crappy corner from me, second to last, and an amazing warehouse. All next on the Gizwiz! It's the same show with Dickie D. And OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. now. Now, and here he is, our concierge to gadgets, Dick D. Bartolo. How you doing, Dickie D? Uh, I'm doing fine, sir. And you? I'm doing great myself. We, I cannot believe it is less than a week away from Christmas that has <sighs> snuck up on me. I've luckily gotten this. I'm way ahead than I normally am. I am yeah. normally a super last minute shopper. I have all, except for like maybe one of my Christmas gifts bought. Wow. So I'm wow. And you have a lot to buy ahead. for, right? Yes. Yeah, so yes and yeah. <laughs> so I buy one gift for all of my immediate family. So um, one single gift. <laughs> I wish no one. Oh. One gift for each. No, I, right? I thought maybe like a Tesla. <laughs> uh, you know, yeah, share. And this is for everybody. Just share yeah, it. Just to share. <laughs> I bought them all an umbrella one year. That was great. That went over wonderful. <laughs> but it was big. Yeah, it's big enough for the whole family. Yeah, yeah. So I do do every sibling, every sibling, significant other, mom, dad, grandma, grandpa. Um, then what we do, we have, uh, two Christmases for the extended family and we, on one of them, we pull a name out of a hat. So I have one of my uncles for that Christmas and the other one is a white elephant. So I have a gift for the white elephant. So, um, mom, dad, sister, girlfriend, sister, girlfriend, uh, grandma, grandma, grandpa, uncle, White elephant, 11, 11 different gifts. I think, I think. Wow. I so yeah. Wow. Are nine of them uh, former crappy corner gifts? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> hey, yeah, you're getting the uh, this doorbell that has an eye uh, yeah, in it I know, from Halloween. I know. Exactly. Yeah. That, that's why you don't care that mom doesn't watch the show. It <laughs> makes it easier for you. Exactly. Yeah, that should just be my uh, uh, white elephant. Is like 52 different crappy corner <laughs> gifts from the last year. I think that'd go over really well. Um, so yeah, um, you have some cool news. I have some, some cool, news. I have, uh, well, uh, first of all, there was a uh, boat basin party um, at on a yacht owned by um, I, I, uh, Jan Vanderland. Now, John Van, uh, Jan Vandalin, I didn't know for the first few years when I was on his boat, is the founder and creator of Kikaland. Did you know that name? Kikaland no. makes every kind of weird gadgets. They, I think we used them on the show once, maybe for a uh, viewer video. They make these walking things. They're really parts of machines, and they walk around. Anyway, the reason that... I bring it up is in, in one of the videos I'm going to show, I say, you know, let's look if we can find this online. And I go, oh, my gosh, it's only $4 at, oh, my God, it's only $4 at, at Kika Land. <laughs> uh, so, so, I so know that, that guy. I know that guy. Yes. And <laughs> behind nice. me, ta-da, year 10 and brighter than ever from the movie Pride and Glory my fiber optic Christmas tree. Now there is my old 50 foot houseboat, which I got paid $500 for them to use it. And that's the tree in the window. This is Ed Norton's back, uh, Ed Norton and, 
Um, Colin Farrell were the stars of the movie, which was Pride and Glory. Not a big hit. Um, and actually, <laughs> this is in June. <laughs> so, uh, um, and then the people came down to strip everything and, and the guy said, listen, we throw everything out, anything you want, tell us, you'll save us a lot of carting it up to the rubbish truck. I said, I'll, I'd love to, the, the, uh, fiber off the Christmas tree. Um, and you know, it took a halogen bulb and I couldn't find the right bulb. And then. <laughs> One day I thought, wait, I have so many LED lights down here. So then what would happen if I took a programmable LED light and put it at the, took out the mechanism and stuck it up under where the fiber optic, the root of the fiber optics is, and it worked out great. It's brighter. Yeah, that looks, and, I'm impressed because <laughs> I, 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 have, uh, I did a little bit of fiber optic stuff when I um, installed, I used to install home theater systems in homes, and we did a uh, fiber optic ceiling once. Oh my gosh. And it had the old school halogen bulb pinwheel that like spins and creates the, you know, this, a scene. That thing was a pain in the butt. And if yeah. that one is 10 years old, I can only imagine how outdated it felt oh, up it until had you threw the LED. Re, re, yes, it had yeah. this revolving color wheel that kept hitting the sides, and I kept making the color wheel smaller and smaller, and it, the motor got wonky and wonkier. And then the last year, I stumbled on using an LED, and it just worked out great. And yeah. I even have a little remote control for it if I happen to like the changing colors. But uh, I can make it do anything I want. Yeah, that's perfect. That's a great yeah. way to update that. Yeah. Um, and what did you do besides shop for 11 people? Mostly I your... just shop till I drop. I did find okay. something that I wanted to show you. This I found yes. at Target. It is the same. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> it is a reindeer ring toss game. This was in the dollar... Um, like bucket the dollar. area. Right? Oh my gosh! <laughs> right when you go in, there's you want like to this. Know something that looks better quality. <laughs> I know it's in a box and everything. It's in a box. Oh man, I might need to. And I don't think that they, you know, the ones that I got, they they pressed them uh, so that a lot of them wouldn't even couldn't even take air. They were so tightly pushed together yeah so i was i was wondering if this is nice. gonna be a better setup there's it looks like there's only one big chamber to inflate i should have thought about this and inflated it ahead of time don't forget you can always use keyboard cleaner oh it's better than mine <laughs> there we go that was just one you know what i think that's that doesn't seem droopy at all. Somehow they figured that no, out. No, you did a better job. Also, <clears throat> the the hat size is better on that one. Yeah, I think I think you have a winner. I think mine's going to be easier to play because one side of your thing, uh -oh. the, the antlers almost touch each other. Oh, no. Mm, but for I, thought a a, I thought there was a, uh, a leak. No, there's not. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, so that anyway. be a big hit. Yeah. It's, yeah. You so you if you put several, if you really liked it, you could go pick it up at Target. The the circle. Oh, no, the head thing is pretty good. No, I think yeah, it's that. great. No. And mine came with two droopy straps because the thing was so small, it wouldn't fit on your head. Uh -huh. So you had to tape it on. on. There you, you go. Know, so. If this was a thing that you really wanted, you get four rings. Wait, no, five rings. Oh my gosh, you wow. get so many rings. This um, is yeah, a bargain, folks. There this you go. I, 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 I think it was a dollar. I was looking for the price, but I couldn't find it. It's it's in that section right when you walk into the door. There's just like a whole bunch of little tchotchkes. Oh, um, yeah, I know that department. It's uh, crap for people who <laughs> will buy anything. And that I little... bought it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So there you yeah, go. For, there you go. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, that's really that's really all the update I have. Uh, okay, so 
I was thinking of a theme for this week's show and I thought, you know what? I bet a lot of people still haven't bought stuff. Why don't Dennis and I go to CVS and see if we can find like a kid thing, a lady thing, a man thing. So we bought three things and here's the first. Hey, the Giz Whiz. Recently, I was with Dennis Wendelin, who helps find gadgets at CVS, the As Seen on TV department. And he said, you know, you never really did a gadget really geared toward women. Most gadgets are for all. And I thought, well, then let's buy easy makeup glasses with three-time magnification. Oh How cool God. was that? Uh, and to be honest, this is actually two-take theater because the first pair had uh, a broken LED. All right. So this, um, let me just see. Uh, uh, okay. On. That's on. And that's on. Uh, okay. So the object here is, I'll take these off. You can, you put it on and you look at one side while you put the makeup on this side. And then you flip this over. <laughs> you know what? This broke off. You know what? I'm going to stick it in and just fake it. All right. I, I couldn't believe it. Uh, all right. So this is for the third eye. If you're a mystic and you have a third eye, you can do that. And now I'm going to hold that in place and see if it stays in long enough to try and see, show you that. Okay, so assuming it doesn't fall You look on better already. Or out. Yeah. All right, so the object here now is... Oh, okay. All right, so now at ABC, we do have makeup people. And more than one makeup person has said, Dick, really, whenever you have your uh, makeup, tell the makeup person you need darker eyebrows because your eyebrows wash out on camera. So now I don't have to ask the makeup person. I can is that pudding? do my eyebrows myself. Oh, this is, see, now I ordinarily wouldn't have been able to do that. Is that shoe and polish? And now I'm going to <laughs> I don't know what it is. Dennis said, here, I'll take these something. stupid things off. I'm going to push that in so it doesn't move out. These are really garbage, I have to tell you. Uh, <laughs> all right, now and they I'll make your face look so good too. <laughs> the same way, so that it is perfect. It's, you know, this is good. <laughs> Maybe I should do the stash. You know what? We beat her all day. But I think now <laughs> I think we're on to something. Okay, <laughs> we're on to avoid these at all costs. All right. So this is how much they are. Let's look online here. Uh, easy makeup. They're 15 bucks and six bucks shipping. The double offer, the free, get a second pass, uh, a second pair free for just another roughly six dollars uh, shipping and handling. So that's roughly 15, six and six at 12, 15, 27. So that's what, 1350 each. Um, they're not worth it. Over at Amazon, Amazon doesn't carry these, but they have tons of knockoffs. Now, the knockoffs don't seem to have LEDs, but you can get them for as low as $4. Okay. So that would be a better investment, uh, I think. $4. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, this is bizarre. Kika Land. And the, the only reason it's bizarre is uh, we were on Kika Land's boat uh, for a party uh, three days ago. Uh, a guy from Holland that started, I think, with vases, vases, and built it into Kika Land. And he still lives on his boat at the marina. Uh, these are really uh, crappy. As you saw... You go to move this on over, and oh, Whoa, it stayed on this it went. time. But anyway, but the results, the results are might be worth it to you. They well, speak for anyway, themselves. Dick T. Bartolo, yeah, Matt, they Matt do. Writer in the Gizwiz One Take Theater here at Gizwiz.tv. Easy makeup, easy screw up glasses.
Bye. <laughs> I think my favorite part is on the on the, <laughs> the like website and stuff. One of those is a magnifying glass, so it makes one eye look huge. Oh, do a little to- of, the, of their commercial because I love how they they portray that how hard it is for what. Well, you will see it. Yeah. Ladies, Maybe, if you can't see without your glasses, <laughs> it's practically impossible to put makeup on. And if you can't see what you're doing, your makeup's going to get ruined. Introducing she's, she's Easy doing Makeup like Glasses, me. the clever single lens eyeglasses that magnify <laughs> just, each eye to just <laughs> her eye. One eye is just gigantic. Yeah, I that wish is I could very make funny. this larger. It's um, <laughs> oh my gosh, this is just weird. I don't know. Um, what? Well, oh as you saw, it is cheapy, crappy plaster. Yeah. It is not good. really awful. And then all really. the all the things online. Here's one. They version. do that. They do the same thing. Uh, oh, also online, you get to pick your magnification. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. The gla- the easy uh, makeup glasses are set at three uh, three time magnification. Uh, and what is Kika Lands is four bucks. It, uh, four bucks. But it doesn't say what magnification. magnification. But if you, if you want to if you want to try this, and your Amazon Prime, do the four dollar add on item because you'll get the same effect. Um, and if you hate it, you're just out four bucks. Right. I was out. I think they were. Uh, they were fifteen dollars at uh, CVS, but I had to go back and get a second pair. <laughs> which, one was... which, <laughs> and I don't think there's right. LEDs. I think if you're someone who does the, your makeup, you probably have some type of light, vanity light thing. No, yeah, oh, that's like, interesting. Yeah, so you uh, don't you don't really need that. Yeah, and of um, course, Bleak finds it on Alibaba. Although Alibaba's um, price. This looks like the official LED version. Oh, that is, is the less official expensive. one. But, um, but still, that four dollar one is the best. Yeah, <laughs> and it doesn't look quite as as stark as it does in reality. Those it almost like purple lights in your eyes. Yeah. Anyway, uh, but if it's someone you don't like, <laughs> <laughs> you could give them a pair. Um, all right, let me see. The second thing. Oh, well, let's look at the commercial first. The second thing is called Pocket Mouse. Pocket Your computer mouse, mouse has old Wait. technology that's not always accurate. <laughs> it keeps you uncomfortably tethered to your computer, and the hand cramp is a real pain. Well, not anymore. Introducing the Pocket Mouse, the wireless mouse held like a pen with enhanced optical technology that lets you accurately work on any surface uh-huh. from anywhere in the room up to 30 feet away. And Pocket Mouse works with pinpoint accuracy on all desktops, laptops, and even tablets. There is no software to install. Just plug the receiver into any USB port and Pocket Mouse automatically connects. The secret is the pen-shaped design and wireless technology. Which <laughs> You're telling us the secret but with incredible the precision yeah i know and we could stop there and more okay accuracy. it's built in oh wireless my gosh. technology allows did you see th- <laughs> that's actually also pretty what funny. i what i love is your, your your most your mouse has old style technology it's yeah. optical right it's optical it, that's newer than laser like it's if, laser like if someone was still on a track ball you know maybe <laughs> possibly i don't think i don't i think there might be some members in our audience that are too Young for even tr- track balls, um, yeah. There's or just... or or young enough to know that your mouse would stop working. You had to turn the mouse over. <laughs> you pull you the turn, ball open out. A, open a little door. Yeah, yeah. Dust it out. Dust it. Take the cat hair yeah. out. Put the door back on. Yeah. I used um, to love doing that. We had a computer lab at our elementary school. Um, and I would just go around to all the mice, un- undo it, take the ball out, and make sure to clean it out. I don't know why. I was fascinated by that. Um, golly. Well, let's, let's see a pocket mouse in action. <sighs> okay. I don't have high hopes. Here we go. Pocket mouse. Begins with, with another as seen on TV product, the amazing pocket mouse. 
Okay. Pocket mouse, wireless mouse, you hold like a pen. Full function, works with any device. Uh, okay, I think I'll hook it up to my uh, bread maker. Uh, so it's in a little clamshell package here. This is the device that we used, we talked about quite some time back. It is the Works Snip Zip Snip. It makes it sound okay. like a construction and site. It doesn't. It? it didn't <laughs> cut through enough of the... This is like one of those double... I was trying to save all the copy, but I guess I'll just do another run up here. I think that went in a little deeper. Da -da! All right. The secret is its pin so, shape. <laughs> we don't want to lose the free bonus, which is an amazing stand. High quality piece of equipment right here. <laughs> oh, it's the Mickey printer. Mouse. Hi, Mickey. Hi, Mickey. Oh, it does work like that. Um, all right. All right, so it says, let's just stick it in. It says, uh, full functional, plug and play, no software needed. Okay, comes with a little 2.4 gigahertz remote. Plugging it in the computer. Oh, well, computer says, installing device driver software. Click here. Uh, all right, so nothing happened. So now, you know what? I'm just thinking something. How could this possibly work? Do you need batteries? Without having a battery. <laughs> okay, we put in uh, Amazon Basic AAA battery. <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't you like that. You get something free inside uh, that shakes loose. I have no off, idea what it on. is. Oh, uh, 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 a light. Okay, so now... Oh, okay. It says it has to, it can use any surface. So let's do a glass you know, window. Normally shiny surfaces. A glass, yeah, you normally. could actually. Uh, I put it on some pretty on shiny stuff. Shiny key. Oh, it is working on that. Let's just do it on that. Now let's just do it on plain old wood. All right, now this is a scroll wheel. Where? Here we are. Nice and noisy scroll wheel. It kind of, it is working. We're in paint now, so oh. I'm picking a brush <clears throat> and that. Uh, I'm drawing is... my logo. <laughs> Should have given I it I guess you Dennis. can see that I did not design my logo, but we do it. The stylus doesn't, the stylus end does nothing. But when you use the pen end, you want it to pen down to 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 the desk. Yeah. So this this works fine for drawing on the screen. So much and more so I'm still not sure what the stylus does. It turns out that it's uh, for the iPad. That monitor anyway, used to be a touch paint. screen, but it's not and anymore. So in paint, Got it. you can do fine. Yeah. There it is on Amazon. Okay. Uh, it got three. I think it was three point five stars. It was 20 bucks at CVS, but I had a 30% off coupon. So it was 20 bucks, six bucks off. It was 14 bucks. It's 15, uh, $15 on Amazon or two for $35. You know what? I, I guess it's, I guess it's okay. I'm back over there using it. You know, I guess, I guess, if you were on an airplane or something and you didn't want to set up a mouse and it would work on the snack tray, you might. And you hate uh, trackpads. I would give it. Three and a half stars sounds about <laughs> right. The Gizwiz, Dick D. Bartolo, Man's <laughs> Madest Writer. The mouse you don't have to set a trap for because they set the trap for you. <laughs> Bye. Uh, I, I, have to, I have a bone to pick about how a pin would be easier to hold than a mouse. Uh, it, you know what? 
It's ridiculous. That's, that's... But because you go from the keyboard, you, you, your hand sort of just falls on the mouse. Yeah. This, you have to get out of the holder. You have to pick it up. And, and then you have to get it in a right position. And I read a few of the reviews and said, if you're a lefty, absolutely worthless oh. to you. Wow. Uh, because you can't get your fingers in the right position. Anyway, the only thing I could think of is like on an airplane where there's a tiny snack tray and you're lapped and you don't want to use the trackpad. Actually, I really can't think of a good use for this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but you, it's not a good use from up to 30 feet away. I did walk across the, the floor uh, in, the, in the apartment here and I could still scroll and stuff from probably 30 feet away. Uh, but I, I love those ads. The, the guy banging his mouse on his knee means like, like it's something that when you bang the mouse, it's going to make it work. Right. I, is, they have to come up with the most preposterous situation. Yeah. To say Your mouse has old technology. Mouse. Yes. <laughs> old technology. You know what else is old technology? Ice cubes. And I still like those. Those work just fine. It's like, uh, I don't, I don't you know. If it's what? not broke, don't fix it. If we come up with a new kind of Bluetooth ice tray, there we, there we maybe go. we are into it. You remember the um, uh, the Wi-Fi egg carton? Do you remember? That oh, one? that's that right. Horrible. Horrible. That was. That was from what? um, Wink or. Uh, yes, it started Corky. out with it was from with Corky. The it would work with Corky. Wink, but it was for, with yes. from Corky. From, yeah, from Corky. Yeah, and the the. Uh, the worst thing I ever saw was about five years ago on at CES, the company that makes the waste paper basket that when you walk up to it, the garbage can thing, the, the, oh, the yes. lid just um, opened. Right. Um, oh, man. I, I actually do. One, simple of, them human. Is, simple one human. of them is Simple Human. Yes. Yes. Uh, and, and this was a competitor of theirs. Although Simple Human, every once in a while... Simple Human for one year, I think it stayed around for two months, and maybe they never produced it. You had to go up to it and say, open sesame. Yeah, open trash can. I was like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> no, they actually had open sesame. Open trash can I would prefer than to have someone in there <laughs> sitting watching me going open. Well, maybe they'd be impressed. Um, Even my Google Home and Echo, I mean, it's it's a stretch for me to use those in the middle of a conversation I'm yes. talking about something that I'm like, hey, set a timer for 10 <laughs> minutes. And I feel like I'm always interrupting in the middle of a conversation if anyone's over at the house. I can't imagine. Oh, yeah. So what did mom say about that? Open trash can. <laughs> I'd be like horrible. Well, the paper, the uh, automatic paper roll dispenser. Did I ever tell you about that? No. Okay. So I said, and I said, oh, you know, I love the thing. They also had the opening trash can. I said, how does this work? And, and I said, just push it. I said, no, wait a minute. Go into the menu and tell it if you want a half a sheet, one sheet, or a sheet and a half. So I do, I do that. And then he says, now press go. So I press <laughs> go. And I said to him, is that paper towel roll going backwards? And he goes, yes. It has to make sure to find a seam so it knows where it is. Holy cow. No. So then no. it finds a seam, and then it puts out a sheet that I wanted, and I go to tear it up, and he goes, no, no, no. You'll, you'll accept the unit. Start at the top and no. tear slowly uh-uh. Uh-uh. Just give me a plain paper towel roll without any technology. I exactly. don't even need a stand. Sitting on the counter, I was thinking. It has not ruined my day ever no. if I have wet hands and accidentally get a little bit more of the paper towel roll a little bit wet and trying to pull one off. <laughs> Walks Post said the salesman sounded like he was three sheets to the wind. Yes. And it was ridiculous. It was like ridiculous. $99 or something. Um, anyway, okay, our third gadget, a gadget for a kid. Okay, here we go, kid gadget. 
Hey, so it's a couple days before Christmas. You don't have a toy for a kid. I thought if I was in that predicament, I would go to the drugstore and find something. And I did. I went to CVS and I found the robot Asaurus. All right. This looks, doesn't this look pretty neat? Let me just look here at the box. Infrared controlled dino. Take them on your adventures. And I did a little research, and then I also found out this, that he was originally also marketed by Sharper Image, okay? And I believe there it was like 40 bucks. It's also marketed as a STEM toy, or at least at one website. And STEM is toys that teach kids science technology, engineering, and math, STEM, S-T-E-M. And then I don't even have to unbox this because I found a video, let's see, what uh, of it in action. So let me just show you like 15 seconds of this. So this is your Robotosaurus. That's learning science. All right, now I'm learning technology. Oh, yeah. And math, uh, right? Now angles. I'm learning No, math is a totally different oh, thing. Oh, oh, and yeah. now oh, I'm learning math. That it is math. anticlimactic. Let me see if I can find the reviews of this. Uh, let me do yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, okay. Oh, it's on, you see here, holiday toyless STEM toys. All right, look at the reviews here. Only six. 1.4 out of five stars. 67 people. I don't know if I've ever seen something star. reviewed that bad. Of the people I, I know. One star. Um, and the reviews were very funny. One review was, my kid got more fun out of the box than the toy. <laughs> Another one was, screws and battery compartments stripped, never put batteries in it. Another one worked for an hour. Anyway, so this could be a STEM toy, but STEM would be more like uh sad stupidest toy ever made. That's STEM also. Um I found it at CVS. You can probably find it at a drugstore near you if you're really stuck for a toy. I mean, a very young kid might find this exciting. I only paid uh, 13 bucks. Wow. The That's a sad... Robos... Roboticsaurus. Oh, my anyway. gosh. Yeah. And you know <laughs> it's really bad when even on Walmart.com, someone bothered I know. to review it one star i mean oh this, they ran out <laughs> they're out of stock they're out of stock they had 11 yesterday oh. nine dollars and 84 cents uh you know you your local walmart might have it because uh sometimes that's just units that they can ship right so check your walmart and if you can't find that buy the reindeer things at target there's, but there's more fun in that reindeer thing that you bought for a buck the, oh my gosh, 35 bucks on Amazon? Yeah, just in case. Caution, extremely oh. dangerous. Yeah, to your wallet. Yeah. Wow, what a. That should be on the crappy corner. That is a pretty sad looking robot. Um, well, I did it last, so your crappy corner would look better. <laughs> exactly. It might, in fact. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, it probably will. Well, I guess with that, let's jump in uh, to. to... I need to get the music. You know you don't need it, but you might want it at Chad's Clappy Corner. Get it. Okay. So coming back from the Crappy Corner, we have holiday gadgets. And this is kind of an adorable little thing. I don't know if you've seen this around, but I've actually seen this around a lot. The Santa that, like, climbs up... Um, these like a ladder. Have you seen that um, around? No. Uh, this I don't think we have any ladders in New York City. <laughs> yeah, they've been banned by the city. Um, this is not the same thing. Uh, it's similar, but that ladder that that uh, here. Let me show you a photo of it because I, sw I swear it's like sweeping the nation, sweeping Texas apparently. Oh, I can't find a photo. Um, anyway, so 
I kind of wanted a, a knockoff version of that Santa. So this little Santa has a special ability. So this is what he looks like. Oh. And he holds on to this string. There's a bell, the saddest little bell you've ever heard on the <laughs> end of it. But your little Santa here can climb up and down the string. And so we could attach it to something if we want. And I'm, and he also makes, he makes music as he does it. So here we go, I have to hit his, uh, his butt button. Let me cover him up, there we go. <laughs> that's cute. So that's what he does. I don't know how he detects when he's at the bottom. But he, he, he can figure that out. At the top, there are little beads missing from the, uh, from the thing. Oh, this is all tangled. Uh-oh. Mission impossible. I gotta fix this. And there we go. Um, so you can just leave him. I, I haven't tested to figure out exactly how long he does this. He, his little ring-a-ding Probably till the battery runs out, right? Gosh, I almost hope not because <laughs> I would hope not too. Let's see if we can hook them. There we go. Okay. So and there, you, there you go. What an adorable little. Uh, oh, oh, he's hitting the, the product <laughs> shot. There we go. Oh no, he's climbing. He's on the roof. <laughs> and now he's jumping in Chad's Tesla. This is this is how. Uh... <laughs> it's funny. I kind of like it, I'll be honest. Um, his little hands move. You can see his hands move and his feet move. Ooh, he's trying to attack me. Um, as he heads up and down. And the, the music's a little bit catchy. It's not bad. It's Jingo Bell. Yeah. Yeah. And let me make sure he doesn't have any other songs with him. Okay, he's turned off. He has off. <laughs> That's it. Yes. Yeah, no, that's his, yeah, his one song. song. His is face his also face lights up? up. Say again? His face lights up. Yeah, his, his face, face lights lit? up. Yeah. So oh. here, we turn him off. You can see, not so much, but turn him on. There you go. Oh, yeah, his yeah. His face lights up. That's the only bit of him that, that lights up. It takes two AA batteries to power them. No, there is no um, stupid thing to unscrew to get at that pack. So oh, props, okay, okay. props to them. And then he just goes. Now, uh, this is this box, this packaging. Okay, let's turn them off. There you go. Whew. Um, this packaging, <laughs> not, not super duper impressive. Uh, this is what it looks like. It looks like it was designed in some factory over there. Um, not many instructions. Good thing it wasn't that hard to understand. These are the only instructions oh on how to goodness. install <laughs> um, the batteries. And there's some instructions on the side of the box. So if you lose the box, um, you're out of luck. One funny thing that I thought was kind of hilarious is on the box itself, it mentions that there are beads missing. <laughs> Turning point, no beads needed here. Oh, oh, oh that's good. <laughs> so you don't get upset that there's no beads yes. um, in that one uh, section of, of the box. Here's the instructions. I'll be honest, I didn't even bother to read them. Carefully remove the item from the packaging. Wow, this is a really detailed instruction. But not by its bead or limbs. Do not mix old and new batteries. <laughs> that seems like an old old wives tale. I don't think that's true uh, at all. I think so too. Um, non-rechargeable battery <laughs> Non-rechargeable batteries are not to be recharged. <laughs> Thanks instructions. Well, when, did, when did that start? <laughs> Yeah. Hey, you just, leave you me alone. Tell me I can how I'm not going to charge my non-rechargeable batteries. The supply terminals are not to be short-circuited. Who thinks of this stuff? <laughs> Please do not use Santa in an atom bomb. Okay, I won't. Yeah, right. Only batteries. Do not of water Santa or bury him. <laughs> 
Do not mix alkali, standard, carbon zinc, or rechargeable nickel cadmium batteries. <laughs> okay. Please retain the packaging for fu future reference since it contains important information. <laughs> since we were too cheap to yeah, actually print out real is right, stuff. right, they copied it off some other. I love it when they copy it off some product that makes no sense. You know, it'll be a, ve a, a vase. And it'll say, do not mix alkaline and carbon. Oh my gosh, it's this is vase. really, this is maybe the funniest instructions I've ever <laughs> read. When switched on, you may experience a slight noise of the motor. This should not affect your enjoyment of the item. <laughs> the motor's loud. Get over it. You won't, it won't affect. It won't affect your uh, your enjoyment. Right. Oh my gosh. Ooh, that is very funny. Okay. So there you go. And that is uh, now on the box. It says nine inch musical Christmas moving figure and that is the name on the box on oh, amazon God. though it has a little bit of a better name it has one of those long search engine oh, oh that's name. it and that's it so oh, the hack bucks. toys battery operated lovely climbing santa claus christmas ornament present nine inch decoration enjoyable t gift toy um so yeah that's With it light and loud music um it's 17 dollars and oh, it got go. good reviews. Yeah, I, yeah, it's, it's fairly, fairly well reviewed. Now I don't uh, see how this would be an ornament at all. I mean, you would really have to have the perfect situation of a tree in order for this to be um, an ornament. Uh, just, it's cute. Just hope it lasts. <laughs> exactly. Santa I'm still reading. Uh, there's another review. I'm still reading the box. <laughs> Exactly. The box I miss, is I miss masterpiece all together. So there you go. Um, it's a it's on good. my opinion, it's a little bit on the expensive side, uh, but it seems. Oh, to you be know, it, 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 it can go up and down the chain without the music, right? No. Oh. No, music's always on. Oh, okay. Um, but that should not stop your enjoyment of the item. Yeah, there's no way to no, turn well, off the music. Uh, well, uh, the music, actually, they made it loud to cover that noise of the motor. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's not too super loud. Here, let me hold. I mean, the din of a, of a party, a Christmas party, would drown that out. But yeah, no, that, uh, that music does not stop. Yeah, I think it would increase the amount of alcohol people consume listening <laughs> to that music. <laughs> Give me another I drink, I can still hear it. Well, there he goes. Okay, so that is my crappy corner for oh, like today. It. Oh, good. Yeah. $17. I like it as long as it's not an era shot of my Christmas party. Yeah, exactly. Oh, this is the, this is the Santa that goes up the, uh, the oh. ladder. Oh. I've seen this guy like all over the place. I've seen him in Bed oh. Bath and Beyond and like in stores. He climbs up and <laughs> he know, has this thing. You know what I thought? I thought it was a giant Santa no. that actually climbed a ladder. No, itty bitty, itty bitty Santa. Oh, oh, okay. I've seen a few that have red ladders. I've seen it at Target and they like they have a peak and stuff. Yeah, not 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 that exciting. Um, but there you go, my crappy corner for this week. With that, let's jump into Dick's Gadget Where. It's the same show with Dick. <laughs> Dick's Gadget Where. did that where? part. <laughs> where? Let's go again. Dick's Gadget <laughs> Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In Dick's Gadget Warehouse. On. Our video is from Doug Johnson, who says, Dick, this gadget hits most of your marks. LEDs, trains, Christmas, and very big. Nice. So he's going to say what it is, and then I'll read some background during the video. Uh, and here's his video. For almost 20 years, I had a love-hate relationship with this gadget. My gadget warehouse 
the Canadian Pacific Holiday Train. Whoa! Now, he was a train dispatcher for 20 years. He talked to everybody aboard this train. He also coordinated the police and the safety Whoa. efforts as the train traveled and stopped to do shows. Wow. It stops all along the Canadian Pacific tracks throughout Canada and part of the United States, raising money for food and local food shelves. Uh, That's incredible. They put on 20 to minute, uh, 20 to 30 minute shows using up and coming entertainers who travel in the cars at the rear. You'll see the cars with the windows. And he said, there's one car where the side folds down, where they can put on a show as it becomes a stage. Wow. That is incredible. (laughs) I retired two years ago. This is the first time I've ever seen the train moving. (laughs) I've always been calling ahead. (laughs) Making dispatch notes. Exactly. For all the stops and saying this big LED train is coming. Um, that seems so he said, right. It, it, can you imagine? Oh, so these are the cars now with the performance. So they're regular passenger cars, but they outline every car in LEDs. They must they must have like a special transformer car, generator car. Yeah. Because this is a ton of light. Um, I retired two years before this video. The first time I ever saw the train moving. I hope you enjoy the video. I did it all on my iPhone. Merry looks Christmas. Good. Happy New Year. Doug yeah, and it looks like he was using clips on uh, yes, the Yes, he was. He, yeah. he said, yeah, using iPhone clips. And here's... There's the end of it. And then, I don't know, it looks like... Do they have Santa on the back? This is quite an endeavor. Oh, to yeah. To be in, be in charge of making sure that gets to every stop and the cops are waiting and other have end. a merry christmas yay oh, okay. yay doug thank you i feel um, like yeah this is uh, this is one of the reasons i like this season when, when when does that happen throughout the year never no is, never can right you I also think imagine there that's a train route it's not like you have multiple lanes on that route <laughs> that thing is going two miles an hour down for the entire thing. He, uh, that must yeah. disrupt so much business. Um, I know. I think it's great. Uh, and yeah. Doug, that was great that for 20 years, you called every town that the train was going to go through and arrange for security for the people watching it and for the people uh, on the train. I think it's great. That so that was, that's probably our most unique uh, gadget video. Love it. Did you get what to take home gadget. one of the cars? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, now, now time to do that to my uh, Tesla. I think yeah. That's what we need oh, to do there next. you go. Yeah, yeah. My God, you have yeah. enough light. You have enough battery power. Yeah. yeah, plenty. Plenty. It's perfect. With that, let's move on to the letter. Our letter is from Ed from South Philly. I'm watching Gizwiz 1703, where you showed the earbuds. Uh, I had bought uh, Bluetooth earbuds. Uh, I have a Samsung Note, and built in is the ability to use two different Bluetooth devices at the same time. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, He said, see the screenshot that I sent you. I want to let you know that this is out already. I love the show. Have a great day. Love you guys. Keep up the great work you're doing. I sent from my Samsung Note 8. Uh, Thanks, Ed from South Philly. So the reason I was asking about it on the show is I had bought uh, a Bluetooth earbud. And then they said, there's a new improved version. I bought that too. And I thought, wow. If I could get two Bluetooth devices hooked up at the same time, maybe I could have stereo. And I guess that might be possible if you have a Samsung Note 8 
because it can do two Bluetooth devices at one time. This is like the one time Samsung's extra stuff has ever like paid off, I feel like. Normally I'm just like, eh, get it out of there. Just vanilla is fine. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yes. But and this is nice. This is cool. It does say the two connected devices may experience slight different, slight uh, differences in sound output, which I would output. imagine would be sync issues. Like I would yeah, assume so that it wouldn't be perfectly synced up. Yeah, so, so it would not. You could not yeah, use two. Yeah, a little weird. Yeah, for that might guess. But if you weird. had one speaker in the living room, one speaker in the front room, the the space in between them would 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 cancel cancel. The, yeah, yeah, you wouldn't yeah. mind that they were slightly out of sync or anything like that. So that would work really well for like a party. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Like so that. Ed in South Philly, thank you for that. We forgot to oh, mention. You know, yeah. <laughs> we should mention on New Year's Eve thing, maybe Dancing Santa can be somewhere yes. in the picture. Exactly. Okay. Uh, I uh, agree. If, if, if you're alone on New Year's Eve, you are not alone. Because Chad and I are doing a New Year's Eve mini extravaganza. Okay. If you're in uh, so, the Eastern time zone and Central time zone. <laughs> Yes, we're doing it twice. We're doing it twice. So maybe like a quarter to 12 or 20 to 12, we'll come on. We'll be on this channel, gizwiz.tv. Only one person has submitted a 20-second hi to everybody. Happy New Year, everybody. It'd be great if more of you just made a little video, put it on YouTube, and send us the link for us to play during uh, the show. And just and say we're hello welcoming to us. The, yeah, yeah, say hello to us. Exactly. Exactly. Thank us for our devotion and our giving up our lives. <laughs> Tell us lives. how gorgeous we are and how we don't need makeup because that's we're right. So oh, good I looking. might be. I, I might. <laughs> I may have dark eye, uh, eyebrows for that. Still, yes. Unless, um, unless I want my money back. I don't another know. thing, if you're in the recording mood, or if you're not in the recording mood, you should get in the recording mood because we do need more <laughs> gadget warehouse videos. Exactly. Exactly. So also, send those in because we forgot to mention that. Yes. Good. Awesome. With that, I want to give a big thank you to our patrons. Patreon.com slash gizwiz is the place where you can support the show. This is a fan-supported show. Every once in a while we have uh, an advertiser, but that's like once in a blue moon. Um, so really we rely on the audience for uh, the support and generosity to help keep the gizwiz going. Big, 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 big thank you to anyone who has donated in the past and who continues to donate Thank you so, 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 so much. Uh, if you would like to give back, patreon.com slash gizwiz is where you can do that. Um, and if you don't want to give reoccurring, that's more of like every episode sort of thing, you can give on our website, gizwiz.tv, click on the Patreon tab, and there's a PayPal link for just a one-time donation. Whatever you do, big thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your generosity. Speaking of gizwiz.tv, that's where you can catch out previous episodes and see us live. Right there we are right here. I'll mute it. And there, look, let's, there. hi, mom. Hi, I'm on gizwiz. Uh, you can also join the chat room there and join our awesome community of folks. Also subscribe to catch all the episodes as at the moment that they are published and see all the previous ones as well. Gizwiz.biz, that's the site that Dick, Dickie D runs. So head on over there to play What the Heck Is It? Also read up on all of the gadgets. There's nice articles, descriptions, explanations about everything. So you can see that all there and play What the Heck Is It? This is the gadget, the whole gadget you guys only have. Is it really only like two weeks left? or do you uh, No, they have 11 days. 11 days! So if you're well, listening now and you want to participate, do it. Do it right now. Head on over. Look at the gadget. Uh, this is obviously a uh, really medieval contact lens. This is back in the day. This is how they add a contact lens to your eye. If you think you know what this is, there's six Mad Magazines for correct answers, 12 Mad Magazines for funny, clever, hilarious, and interesting answers. This is the Mad Magazine, which I just got, actually. I have it over here. I hope I can reach it. Uh, 
There we go. Perfect. This is it. You'd, you'd be getting a signed copy of this from yep. Dickie D himself. So, um, get a guessing over at Gizwiz. Yeah, I did one of the ads for uh, a new drug called Blamium. Blamium? For Blamium. For people who want to fly off the handle and not get blamed. <laughs> See, Ro Roseanne blamed Ambien for oh. her her outright uh, her outrage oh and and so now we're thinking if there was blamium yeah uh, just... yeah and bl blamium's uh, slogan is you take the drug we take the blame <laughs> so, so, so it's basically a company b based off of the fact that they want to get sued seems yeah. like yeah it's it's one of the mad 20 that's awesome that yeah. is so awesome um yeah, I want to. I wish I could find it quickly. I'll keep looking. Um, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, also, don't forget to get in your videos. One for the New York, uh, for the <laughs> New York, for the New Year's <laughs> Eve um, meet meet up once again. You know the time, most likely, if you're in the Eastern <laughs> and Central time zones. But uh, New Year's Eve at midnight Eastern and midnight Central will be here to say hello, to 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 have some fun and uh, chat with you guys as we count down into, here it is. I believe Let's there see. it is. Blamium. Okay, Blamium. <laughs> Introducing like a new medical breakthrough, <laughs> Blamium. You take the drug, it takes the blame. I love that. Just two tablets will loosen your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> That's very good, very good. Um, so yeah, so make sure you get a guessing on uh, the gadget, um, on guess the gadget, whatever the heck that's called. <laughs> what the heck is it? And uh, that's about it for our show. We'll see you next week. And I'll be here. <laughs> <laughs>